This year with the warmer temperatures, it's not too, too hot during the day. And in the evening hours, it's not too chilly yet either. You don't even need the jacket, which is uh, pretty rare for this time of the year. The colors are on display. Some areas starting to get past peak though. Logan Canyon, past peak, Guardsman Pass, a little past peak, Mirror Lake Highway and Bryan Head. The other areas are still peaking right now. And even these areas past peak, you can still find some beautiful color, just like in this picture. And this is our monthly winner. This is over in Cedar Breaks down south. Thanks to Sharon for sending this one in. Uh, she's going to get a Les Olson printer for this one. So congrats, Sharon. We love this picture and we love all the pictures you send in. We have a weekly winner to announce tonight, too. Uh, this one of Willow Lake. Look at that gorgeous scene. Thanks to Abel for sending in uh, that photo. Just beautiful out there, and we have to take advantage of it because 80s are not going to be lasting too much longer. In fact, in October, we typically only see three days in the 80s, and we're going to have a whole slew of them, so we get to enjoy it. Mid-80s, up and down the Wasatch Front. St. George, not quite as lucky. Mid-90s, that feels pretty hot, especially this time of the year. 85 in Moab, that was where we were today. Currently, temps are falling. Pretty mild, though. Mid-60s along the Wasatch such front. Low 80s still in St. George, however, 50s in Vernal. Tomorrow morning, we'll wake up to temperatures just barely out of the 60s in the upper 50s for a couple of hours, and then we quickly climb. 71 by 11 a.m., upper 70s going towards 80 degrees by 3 o'clock, and then those highs will be in the low to mid 80s tomorrow. It will be a little bit cloudier. High pressure is moving a little bit to the east. You have this cold front that's going to be approaching so we'll get a little surge of moisture, not enough to bring rain, but enough to bring some cloud cover and some dry thunderstorms in the mountains. You can see that happening in the Uintas and in our central and southern mountains. So we could see some thunderstorms uh, in our mountains tomorrow. Valley locations likely will not. There's the slightest chance we get more wind than anything else. A lot of the rain will evaporate before it hits the ground. And then the front keeps coming in. It'll cool us off potentially Wednesday night into Thursday. Not going to be much of a cool down. You probably won't even really notice it. Did you notice the cool down this past weekend? It was minimal. So Thursday, a little more cloud cover rolling in Thursday night, but temperatures still uh, looking to be close to record warm all week long, even with the cool down. Central Utah, temperatures tomorrow in the low 80s, partly cloudy, overnight lows in the upper 40s and low 50s. It does cool nicely at night. Mid 60s tonight in St. George, then 96 tomorrow, upper 80s in Moab. It's another warm one. 94 Wednesday, low 90s Thursday, Friday, and then finally some 80s in the forecast early next week. Average high is 83 in St. George. And for northern Utah, temperatures in the low to mid 80s, up in Cache Valley too, upper 70s for the Wasatch back, Park City in the mid 70s, and then your seven day forecast for the Wasatch front. Again, we could be close. We are in the realm of hitting records each day this week, 87 the high on Thursday, and then one day in the 70s Sunday before we're going back up again. Right now, even the long range forecast models really not pinpointing a big cool down or a big storm for us to bring in any precepts. So we're just gonna kind of stay in this pattern for a while, maybe by the 18th of October. Wow. <laughs> we can be yeah. talking a pattern change. It's unseasonable, but I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of nice. Yeah, all right, thank you. All right, JJ, back-to-back -back games at the Delta